Maltzeit and welcome back to the wonderful world of Amalur. I am still Pyro Toys and I'm back baby. After my little run around for the boot camp and our skills, which can be seen here, we got now max out in detect hidden. Always good to have a little bit advanced blacksmithing, sagecraft, so we find a lot of shards, which will help us craft our new gear. The spelling, I got rid of those pesky little dark sigils, which explode in your face, so the worst thing that can happen to me is that I just fail because I don't get the timings right, but it shouldn't just instantly blow up when I misclick. A little bit of lockpicking, mercantile, those are pretty much all just from training. A few trainers wouldn't want to talk to me because I didn't make, didn't finish the quest. But this little trainer here in the embassy hall, down in Isa, see, is a countryman of us, a Varani, and he wants to sell me something. Are you here to purchase a title or just to waste my waking hours? Oh, can it be both? And I want to buy a title. It's just, it's pocket money. I spent more on stamps, and most people now use emails, so can imagine how much I've spent on stamps. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa. They are rare, and should be worn with great respect. Oh, so it's just... So they will call me instead of Sir Sagrel or our friend, I guess I will be... The Blood Doge? Well, it's a mercantile faction, but I don't have a ship and I'm not really much of a trader. And since I am, I think my faith is Tyr, so the War God, so I'm the Death Scripting ah, Hand. One of our most unusual titles. You will be watched with a close eye when you walk with this name. I proclaim you Death's Cryptic Hand. Surrender my old title? What is that? Probably a good idea. Don't want to attract too much attention to yourself. Okay, bye the again. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa. They are rare and should be worn with great respect. I don't know, I think I just ah, return. One of our most unusual one. titles. You will be watched with a close What are we doing here? knows why we are here, yet he does nothing. Our people die at the hands of the Twatha, Fae. But the Fae themselves show no remorse. Tetarian and the Summer Court will know our anger, and they will aid us or perish. Well, to be pretty fair, I mean, it's just like the different human races. Leave me to my business. Most people don't really care if some if your neighbors get killed. It's just, don't oh no, the it's silence. the neighboring house. It has it's nothing to do with me. It's far, far away. Don't care. But now we... Oh, I think we need to run outside. Should be around there. And then we can fast travel to the DLC area where we can finally manifest our destiny to do whatever the floating face wants us to do. Which we noticed a few days ago. In the floating city. The great marble giants. As far as I can remember from quite a few days ago, there seems to be some sort of stalemate between two races. Great, right, it's blocked. Yeehaw! Between two races, and we are pretty much here to break that stalemate. I don't know if this is one evil, one good, and. I finally can follow my aspirations to be a little bit naughty. That's something we will find. Ooh, bad clipping. So much for the remaster. Show your face, coward. And face me in mortal combat. Ma'am. What? First we have an army of Jotun at our gates, and now this. I don't know you, little one, but you'll find no quarter here. This is still Colossi-held territory for the moment. 
State your intent. I'm looking for a statue. I got this far little harbor. It's called Rodos. You know, maybe one of you want to stand around there and tell me what the frick are you? Are you a golem or some sort of, I don't know, troll? Stone creature? You barge into these lands and yet you do not know who holds them? I am. My people are Colossi. For years we have held these lands as the hallowed grounds of our gods. We are stone and flesh, sword and faith. Brick and dust. Well, I want to be an ass, so I am an ass. You are fierce for one so small, interloper. I have no desire to add one more to our number of foes, regardless of your size. And you came from the northern caverns. How did you arrive here? By the northern caverns. Wait, I was dragged? I thought I was just... Okay, I need a little reminder about this case. It is a road that has gone otherwise unwalked since it was sealed. How did you walk this path? On foot. Yeah, it's more like I got invited. I wasn't really dragged. Strange entity. A curious riddle. But one that must be solved later. It seems the Jotun have rallied their strength. Steal yourself. Oh, alright. So it was X. And Y. And just. Outfield the enemy. You somehow remember I had way more skills. Yeah, I don't look about that. It's a little bit disconcerting. I'm somehow missing my Mortal Kombat Scorpion move. You know those nice little chains which say, Come here, my little friend. Oh, I'm over there. Wrong just focus on one of the NPCs. Boring. That so. was well fought, little friend. You have a strength in your arms that belies their lack of girth. Perhaps you are not the interloper I believed you to be. You claim to have been summoned, but for what purpose? I don't remember, but the game does, so thank you for that one. I seek the Primus. What strange forces brought you here? You speak of the Holy King of my people, and that artifact you bear. Could it be the cipher? Your mission is twice damned already. The Primos is a recluse. But more immediate than that is the Jotun Horde. Idilla is sealed off as long as they continue plaguing my people. Ooh, I wish I had a little bit of more persuasion. All right, let's start with your little hometown. It is the city you see floating in the sky over this land of savages and dangers. It is my people's greatest accomplishment and failure. I cannot speak more of it to an outsider. Forgive me. You know, it may just be the camera angle which just draws the face and the mouth down. This character actually portrays sorrow and sadness. You can really see it's a oh, how bad. Short of depression. A relic of great importance to those of my people that carry the faith. I thought it was just a myth, but one who carries the cipher is much loved by the gods. So the sages of my race say. A blessing as much as a curse. You know what I want? I want one of those Roman armors. I could get rid of the little fur around the collar, but all in all, looks nice. Give me. He is our spiritual leader. No. Oh. That is all you need to know.
Yes, I gotta do everything myself. You mean to succeed where my forces have not? Quite an ego for one so small. Find Remy's, one of my scouts. He can tell you of Karunk, their warlord. If you can kill Karunk, I'll lead you to the Primos myself. How do I stop? We already know. We, as always, cut the snake's head off. And the Bring body will the soon crumble. They will need to know about the Jyoti and this new interloper. Yes, 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 yes. So, whoops. Let's have a little skirt around the edge. Cut all the stuff off. By the way, I think I'm gonna start collecting every piece of set item I can get my head on because it's been now, what about... 20 25 hours of playing as a warrior and there is still so much more gameplay left and so much more story and it would be pretty much a waste not to use anything so we will have a little bit of time as a mage as well as a little bit of time as a rogue maybe even try some multi-classing here and there just to see what we have to offer and to have a little bit of a fashion show also I'm pretty sure that on the hardest difficulty, which I am playing, I don't really get more equipment based on my own class, but I actually get a little bit more equipment as Rogue and Mage. So just switching classes as well as the respec is pretty much cheap, seems to be a good idea. Let's try how we're doing without those dark sigils. Oh yes. Nice. I didn't really watch, it's probably all just really useless junk for us because we're pretty much out leveled every zone by so far. They, they say they match the rewards to your own level when you enter a zone so you can get level appropriate loot, but somehow I don't notice it. There still seems to be some region locks on the certain tiers, like in what what you call in. Go up, go up. Daiden, Darren, Gorhard, and Dalarath. Mostly around here, we had the normal steel, leather armor. Then Isa and beyond, we were to find the. Sylvani gear, the green stuff, which looks like plant-based. And I know in the end game around here you get stuff that kind of looks like we just ripped it from the backs of our Tuatha enemies. And as far as I know, at least when, when I last played, about what was it, five years ago when this game first out, seven years ago, that was pretty much all that was there. So we will see each other at the next NPC and continue our glorious quest. And up this little path we walk, we find a new friend. Buddy, 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 tell me your name. It's Remus. Remus, the Roman bold. You're made out of stone. You could ask the sculptor to give you a little bit of hat. Eh, not hat, hair. I'm shutting ah, up. What a horrid little thing you are. Are you some kind of Jotun runt? Explain yourself quickly. The last thing I want is to give away my position. You know there's a little dwarf saying out of the Discworld novel. What was it? If his chest is about your head, his groin is level for your teeth or something so oh no he's made out of stone yes grab that i am here to do your dirty work since you are useless that much i was aware of and i knew sikandra would send someone but you a sign of the times to be sure but if you're to do the deed then i have information that you will need tell me or do i have to beat it out of you You know what? I can do this. Just a few traps. No doubt. For surely one as small as you must be a great warrior. Very well. 
but at the least heed me. Primal magic will be of use to you here, I swear it. What's primal? Strange thing, aren't you? Primal magic is a magic imbued upon weapons and gems. Only armament can channel it. The magic does some damage on its own, but its true strength is its ability to augment other magics you cast on your foe to a devastating degree. Take this weapon, use it to inflict primal magic on a foe, and let loose your spells. Even a Jotun warlord could not withstand such an onslaught. I do not have a single spell in my loadout. So, yeah, you're just gonna tell me the same. Tell me about yourself, I Remus. am a scout for the Idilla Guard. There are many dangers that lurk in the corners of this land. My job is to root them out. Well, Very well, fun. little one. No, I. Does it have any passive? No, my secondary weapon has no passives whatsoever, so. Six primal damage or six? But it's a debuff weapon and doesn't look half bad. Has a nice little multicolored effect on. Pew, pew, pew. Alright, why not? Ooh, hello, Hammer. More damage, way low, and it's got primal damage. So I guess if we got primal damage on our weapon as well as. Maybe maybe it works with the fire damage enchantment of our longsword. Just take everything for now, render it down for parts, and use it in crafting. Do we have to run for... Mm, probably not, so... Maybe we can test our weapon out. Oh yeah, there are the chokes already. This loot is absolutely Oh yes, gimme. Gimme the wolf. They died fast and gimme the wolf. Rage. There we go. Potions do we got? Let's get some extra damage going. Precision, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Okay. Oh, where? I lost my kill streak. I think I just barely didn't get the last one. Oh, you know what? What's wrong with my quick heal? I just looted a bunch of minor potions. Summables? Yeah, we got we even got greater healing potions. Why why won't it Radio junk just use it but Okay Boy, I can't use it at all. Just wait on Great regeneration. Yeah, the soul. So it's just. The waiters on the Jotun will carry not a harpoon. We're not whalers on the moon. But we cut out. And up this little path we walk, we find a new friend. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Tell me your name. It's Remus. Remus, the Roman bold. You're made out of stone. You could ask the sculptor to give you a little bit of head. 
Uh, not head. Hair. I'm shutting ah, up. What a horrid little thing you are. Are you some kind of Jotun runt? Explain yourself quickly. The last thing I want is to give away my position. You know, there's a little dwarf saying out of the Discworld novel. What was it? If his chest is about your head, his groin is level for your teeth or something. So, oh no, he's made out of stone. Yes, grab that. I am here to do your dirty work since you are useless. That much I was aware of, and I knew Sikandra would send someone. But you? A sign of the times, to be sure. But if you're to do the deed, then I have information that you will need. Tell me, or do I have to beat it out of you? You know what? I can do this. Just a few traps. No doubt. For surely one as small as you must be a great warrior. Very well. But at the least heed me. Primal magic will be of use to you here, I swear it. What's primal? Strange thing, aren't you? Primal magic is a magic imbued upon weapons and gems. Only armament can channel it. The magic does some damage on its own, but its true strength is its ability to augment other magics you cast on your foe to a devastating degree. Take this weapon, use it to inflict primal magic on a foe, and let loose your spells. Even a Jotun warlord could not withstand such an onslaught. I do not have a single spell in my loadout. So, yeah, you're just gonna tell me the same. Tell me about yourself, I Remus. am a scout for the Idilla Guard. There are many dangers that lurk in the corners of this land. My job is to root them out. Well, Very well, little one. No, I. Does it have any passive? No, my secondary Shh. weapon has no passives whatsoever, so. Six primal damage on six. It's a debuff weapon and doesn't look half bad. Has a nice little multicolored effect on pew, pew, pew. Alright, why not? Ooh, hello hammer. More damage, way low and it's got primal damage. So I guess if we got primal damage on our weapon as well as maybe Maybe it works with the fire damage enchantment of our longsword. Just take everything for now, render it down for parts, and use it in crafting. Do we have to run for? Mm, probably not, so. Maybe we can test our weapon out. Oh, yeah, there are the jokes already. This loot is absolutely Oh yes, give me Give me the wolf. They die fast and can die rage. There we go. do we got let's get some extra damage going precision don't need don't need don't need don't need okay so where I lost my kill streak I think I just barely didn't get the last one oh you know what I just looted a bunch of minor potions. 
some mobiles. Yeah, we got we even got greater healing potions. Why why won't it radio junk just use it but Okay. Well I can't use it at all. <laughs> We're not whalers on the moon. But we cut out. Looks like on our way back we found a little hidden door inside of the mountain. Let's see what treasures awaits. Hopefully anything because... No, just a few colossal corpses. They don't need this. Just borrowing it. Oh. I still don't possess the ability to disassemble purple items. But one or two level ups will surely remedy this. Now get quickly to our friend Remus. And bask in his magnificent stony beard. Oh, it's her. So Kendra. Hello. I, I had heard. From Remy's, I received word that one such as you entered Karunk's tower with no trepidation, no anxiety. Do I even have to ask? Does the war chief still draw breath? No, he never did. It's all a game. And I possess the power of quick load. It... It was said the gods would call their champion. And here you are, bearing the cipher, seeking the primos. For your role in deposing the warlord, I give you this. A hammer prized among the Jotun, so I'm told. Use it as your trophy. Now my forces can put the rest of the Jotun to the spear, beckoned. So you stole the Jotun's prized Warhammer and you're wondering why they attack you? They just want to get their stuff back. You know, you steal from them, they come to take it back. What do you expect? Beckon? Who's beckoning? Before this day? I thought it was just a myth. A lie my people told ourselves to make our sins more bearable. The beckoned is a deliverer. The Beckoned speaks for the gods. The Beckoned is their messenger, their conduit. What is the Beckoned? One who carries the cipher, the icon of the gods. One who faces the troubles of my people without hesitancy. The Beckoned is you. And we got another title. No, nope, just one or two titles more and I can be a real... Oh, what's the word? Ooh, I don't know. But I got more titles than the Blackboard Monitor Sam Vimes in the end. And I think Sikandra has the same voice actor as our Dark Elf lady friend from the main quest. Are they still a threat? I don't care. You want to spare the Jotun? I don't care. You're right. Kill them all. None shall sort them out. We do not need to attend to this task ourselves. My soldiers will see to the work. I will now take you to the Henge, the device that transports the Colossi between the city and the surface. Let us depart. All right. Be cautious in these wait. lands. Let's see. Who cries ambush? Come on, you got such long legs. Use them. Run, run. Go, Sandra, go. Maybe it's just because of stone. Ah. Takes it a little bit slower. Oh, good mirror. Alright. Just run past. Coward. 
no wonder I had to deal with your problems. You're just running away. You're a giant stone marble chicken. You... you did it. You told me to follow you. I followed you. Don't be surprised. Here, Beckoned. This artifact you see before us is a henge. We use it to transport to the city. It may be uncomfortable at first. I still recall retching after my first journey with it. But it is the only way into the city. You know there's this invention, it's called a rope. You take a rope, a few hinges, and you got what we call a lift. You can pull people up, you can pull people down. You don't have to throw up every time. An artifact my people made. With the city in the sky, we knew we needed a way to travel from the teeth and back. The energies it focuses are the same as those that keep the city aloft. They can levitate people and objects safely. Be cautious in these lands. Oh, where's the hidden loot? It's down in the pool. Oh, no, 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 it's here. Give me everything I don't need. Oh, please don't be a cutscene. I don't want to mess around. I forgot to turn down the volume on the last one. So if any of you is watching every single video, one of you will be have bleeding ears. Thank God it's in game. It's probably a sacrificial pit. If you're a bad boy, you get thrown down. And why is she faster than us? And here you have it. Idilla. Our great failing. Now let us go to Anakatos. He may hide from our people's needs, but he will not refuse a visitor sent from Athene. So are we Greek now? I thought it was probably in uh, Roman and Greek armor was pretty much the same, so why not? Tell me about your failings. You don't. Why the does gods he hide? choose the Primos to lead we Colossi and to enact their will. Of the gods, we are the favored of Athene, the goddess of wisdom. Or we were. Athene's once common words have been quiet for some time. The Primos has prayed in isolation for years, but she does not answer. Very well. So it's her fault, she abandoned you. Find your step here, Beckoned. I wouldn't want the Colossi's failure to claim any more lives than it already has. So this pit is your failure? It is not here by choice. Or our choice, anyways. Such questions would be better suited for the Primos. Suffice it to say that this was made in anticipation of something that never occurred. A floor. Very well. Well, it's sometimes a problem with peoples and their gods. Sometimes the gods get funny, ha ha ha, and mess their people about. And nothing Beyond good these comes stairs of it. is the sanctuary of the Primos, the leader of the Colossi people in the teeth of Naros. I must warn you, Anakotos has not left these quarters in years. He vowed to never cease his prayers until the gods answered them. And his people have languished for it. But I think his answer has finally arrived. Speak to him, Beckoned. His people have need of him. After talking for a few more hours to you tall folks, I need a neck massage. All this staring upwards, it's really hurting. 
After years in his sanctum, I doubt he is the Primos I once knew. But though we all languish in the god's absence, none suffer as he does. He will likely see you as the answer to his prayers. Very well. Or he will attack me on sight. Is there anything I can assist you? That's a nice door mechanism. So if you grow up big and strong, you get embedded into the wall. And become a living gate. Ooh, great Primos. All your treasure will be mine. Tell me, what did you do wrong? It's just Athens, Jotans and Trolls. Not much of an army. And though the path be fraught with tribulation, know that it leads to the land of our greatness, and that we walk it with you. Such were the words the gods spoke to the progenitor of my race when they sought to guide us from our base origins into a fruition of potential. The words have been in my heart every day of my reign, but now they are embodied. Welcome, Beckon. At last, this city will be complete. If you're gonna turn me into one of those wall pillars or door openers, I'm gonna shove my sword where the sun doesn't shine. Because we are all of us, my whole people, incomplete. Because we are not worthy enough, not deserving enough to see such wonders of the gods. And I thought that failure was a finality. I have prayed to the gods in seclusion in hopes of an answer, but they were as quiet as the silent choir. Now the beckoned is come. With you the gods can bear witness to us atoning for our inadequacies. We must start at once, beginning with the wreath of absolution. In the what with the what in the what? Something no Primos would ever wish to wear. They are only made in times of great need, and we must prove to the gods our devotion. Oh great, a suicide pact. So, your gods, a little bit of loonies? Were it so easy? There is a proper ritual to observe, and it involves the Holy Beckoned crafting the wreath of absolution. First, the foundation. It is a circlet of gold inscribed with the runes of prayer. I only wish we had the time to craft one for this occasion, but we do not. Thankfully, there is one made. My predecessor, Arches, had a wreath crafted, and it lies interred with him beneath the city. Sikandra will guide you to it. Boy, are you stupid. You prayed here for years and years and years in seclusion and never thought to prepare for the day when you finally achieved your goal. Nice if it doesn't blow up in your face. Big all, so it all. All is my liturgy of. Primus, glory to Ethan, the wise of the gods, and blessed we are, her children. In the name of Ethan, we pray to the heavens and give thanks and praise. Holy Ethans, bless us as we bear witness to your works. Congratulations, Athens, Essence, you are wise, holy Athens, Primus the Essence. Please, 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 let me hear our words. Thank you. Maybe we can sell it all. Give it to someone else. Oh, look, it's her, our little masked friend who said, You are the chosen one. Nothing to say? Okay. Sounds, prayers, and a 
for today. Again, I'm too slow, I'm too slow. Ooh, Timos. Status effect, elemental resistance, mana. That's good to sell. Always oh, nice to make a little gold on the side. I think we have a little bit of time to explore the city, see. What's about the side quest we can pick up? Maybe there's a trainer around. You return. Well, the Primos has not graced the ears of his subjects in ages. What has he said to you? You don't really like him, hey? We need to rob a tomb. You what? Our case was a Primos. He was a leader of our people. He was... Anakatos cannot! Would Anakatos have a spit on the graves of all our fallen? Our case was a Primos! Already I am sick of his imposition. I will meet you in the Undersewer Crypts. We will need to be quick about it. I hate it, but I will do it. Very well. I could have told you why we had to do it, but your reaction wouldn't... Half as funny. Not again. This is where we need to go. So let's see the teleportation device. There's a faith weaver, healing, crafting, and a few side quests. Those looking to rest can do so. Alright, we can rest in the living quarter. What a nice, lovely idea. Looks like we found a bounty board. Stow away. Reports come a troll club was raised up with a city by mistake years before. Bounty who brings the beast down. Take. Lost in the sewers, pay for completion. Take. What's an RPG without a sewer, right? Once again, hordes in the sewers, probably some kobolds, egg, more XP, more quest, more... As Hello, lady. Ah, the famed beckoned comes to me at last. Admittedly, my request might be the smallest you will hear, but I wish to voice it nonetheless. Then on your knees and go eye to eye with me, giant. To preserve the past. All around us is the great chisel and hammer of progress, keen on dragging my people towards enlightenment. But such progress means nothing without context. I wish for someone who can find artifacts of my ancestors, reminders of our simpler times. All right. Very good. I'll reward you for any artifacts you can find, but larger artifacts will do well for both of us. I await your findings. Where do they I are look? strewn throughout the teeth of Naros. They may be hidden in forgotten corners or carried by beasts as trophies. I have a little hammer. They are little things of no intrinsic value. But as my people are so convinced to make progress, these artifacts are the few records of who would be careful with them. If I know anything about game writing, I think you won't be too happy about the answers you get from those artifacts. Probably you were golems, tools, slaves. And it would seem that the deliverer of my people has found me at last. Many honored greetings to you, Beckoned. If you would, I have more than <laughs> pleasantries to discuss. Like many, I seek your prowess. Who needs to die? The culling. Though the Colossi are a people of faith, more and more of us are reverting to the savage ways of our ancestors. The lowest of these doubters become marauders, bloodthirsty and violent, capable of nothing but wrath. They must be purged. 
Marco. On the way, I can deal with a few. I thank you. It is high time we bring their savagery to an end. Each marauder should carry a totem of some sort. Bring those to me as proof of your deeds. And since I always expect to be betrayed, probably you will take their place and lead them. Ooh, one final person. I will only. What is it? Unless you can somehow convince the guards to let me leave the city, you are only wasting my time. I'm you sorry. Look angry. It just makes you a little crazed, you see, being locked inside this city like a penned animal. All I want is to leave for a short time to travel to the Warren and check on my wife, Galatea. But I cannot leave. You know, there's this hole in the ground and a deep lake full of water. You're made out of stone. Just jump. I did not choose to leave her, Beckoned. I wanted her to come with me. But she can be difficult to move to action sometimes. But I cannot retrieve her now, for I am one of the city's finest masons. The guard are under orders not to let me leave, so I do not die. All I want to know is that she is unharmed. But I've done so well for this city that I am forbidden from departing. I could break your fingers. Would you truly beckon? That is something. At least I will be certain that she is unharmed. I left her in the ruins of the Warren, the city's old quarry. You should search there for her. Please find my wife. I will. Nice little temple ways. Yes. Statues of old heroes. Floating stones. And a theater. Oh, maybe we can Please see a do not disturb play. the tragedians in their work. Ooh. Looks nice. And with this nice little scenic look around, we're gonna end it for today. Tomorrow, we will be hunting down a few of those quests. In the meantime, I take a little tour around the city, see what I can stuff my pockets with. And maybe find another quest, which will be recorded if I find one. So then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.